What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. It's been a hot minute since we did a channel update um, for the handful of people that still watch them and you know follow the channel and all that. Um, so I figured I'd jump on here. I missed one because well there wasn't really much going on anyhow. But um, actually there's been quite a, th quite a couple things go down over the summer. Um, it is now um, September. And um, it's getting a little bit cooler out. Uh, still hot, but um, not not hot as much as it was in the summer, if that makes any sense. Anyhow, shop is um, empty for the first time in a while. The first things up is this uh, Harbor Freight dirt bike stand that I converted to a, a vertical shaft engine stand so that um, I can work on stuff up off the ground like um, I used to be doing and in the shop there is made more for horizontal shaft engines. So um, a little bit of an upgrade there in the shop. Um, but not a whole lot going on here, just doing a lot of organizing and a lot of get rid and getting rid of stuff that I don't need and just more organizing and, you know, making stuff to where, you know, hey, I can actually work on stuff now. So, um, and not be kicking stuff around because they're not put back in the places they should have been. So, anyhow, got the Sears loaded up on the trailer because me and a co-worker are fixing in to be going back to AAA ATV Park in Hamptonville to uh, do some more riding because, well, last time we kind of got rained out. So, um, gonna take this boy and, um, see what we can get into. And the reason why I'm taking the Sears is because, well, Judy is no longer Judy. The reason I say that, see that? And now you see that. Um, I'll post a picture, but actually a couple of days ago, I went to a family's property um, where I have a couple trails. And I was doing a river crossing, and on the, up, on the opposite side of the creek where I was trying to get up on, it just wasn't having it. And I was, you know, adjusting my position. I was making sure the throttle was where it was needed to be and all that. And I was just letting her eat, letting her eat, letting her eat. And I gave it one more good send, and it just about made it. But as soon as it got grip. I, I felt and I heard a really big pop and all of a sudden I lost all power and I uh, looked down real quick to see what was going on then I did a double take and realized that my rear tire was underneath my floorboard where it's not supposed to be so I snapped the axle clean off of this son and, uh, well, good luck finding another transmission that will go on these things because, well, they haven't been made in about 20 years. So, unfortunately, this build has come to a halt and now I'm pretty much just porting it out uh, for what it's worth. Um, I hate it because I really like this thing, but from what I've been told in the forums, it was bound to happen because that transmission is one of the weakest ones you can have in a play toy like this also running aired down 26s yeah something's going to snap eventually so unfortunately it is what it is so i'm going to send the sears until i get that one right there built the way i want Speaking of which, that is sold. Um, I've got a friend of mine that is wanting to get it off of me that I'm going, he, we're going to meet up um, in a couple days. He's going to come over and get it, and uh, we'll make a deal. But um, next time I post a video or whatever like this, you will not be seeing that. 
I hate to get rid of it, but at this point, I've just lost interest in it because of the fact that i got a lot of other stuff going on, a lot of other plans, and the fact of the matter that I keep on putting this thing on back burner over and over and over again, it's just best to just get rid of it because I ain't ever going to get to it. And I never ride it anyhow. It runs perfectly fine at this point. It's just the tires are flat because it's been sitting forever. I just don't ever have time to ride it. Four-wheeler is doing what the four-wheeler does. We have a mini bike on the channel again. I have been wanting another mini bike for a long time. OGs of the channel, you will remember the blue one that I had a couple years back that I regret selling like crazy. But I got one of my own now, so I love this thing. Um, plans for this is I've got to figure out what's going on with the centrifugal clutch assembly because I don't know what's going on. Every time you crank it up, it wants to take off on you. Um, also, this thing has got a little 196 home light on it, which I'm going to swap that out for a little uh, 212 Predator uh, because that's the same setup that I had in the blue one that I had years ago. So I'm going to go back with that same setup. And uh, I don't know if I'm going to keep this gray color or if I'm going to do something else. I don't know. Let me know what y'all think. What should I paint this thing? Or should I just leave it primer gray? I don't care. Screw it. Anyhow, got my part stash cleaned up. A whole lot of stuff cleaned up. I've been doing a lot of work down here. Got the Girlfriend's 102 Cub Cadet. Just fixed it, actually. Um... It had a gremlin up underneath it that, um, well, I figured out it was just a contact switch that was, um, it only wanted to work when it wanted to, and it was just a little, little switch that, um, wouldn't make contact, uh, because one of the shift, one of the shifting shafts for the transmission going to the clutch, I think I said that right, no, no, no. When you push the clutch in, one of the rods that goes to activate the clutch had a little bit of wear in it, and there's a little bitty piece of spring steel that contacted on a switch, and it had just wore just enough to where it would slip off of that contact, go at, at an angle, and it would cause it to not start. So, um, got that adjusted. So, now it starts every time. So, that's good, because I ain't gonna lie. I kind of like this booger. But, um, come over here. That's where the Sears would normally be. Got the Simplicity 4211 over here that's, well, sadly just waiting for me to have enough time and patience to give a damn about it. Because right now, I really don't. I don't have time for this at all. Um, but I will eventually. That is on the project list. But, anyhow back over here alright so guys time for other news um an announcement that I have to make that I didn't really want to have to make but um Daisy the um little border collie lab mix is uh sadly no longer with us um right after the Tennessee trip that we took she got really sick, and um, three days later, she was no longer with us, and there was not a damn thing we could do about it, and it was just one of those things to where we just didn't know what to do but to be emotional about it, and, you know, what do you do? But uh, we, first-time dog owners, we didn't know what was going on. Turns out the autopsy, she had a, um, had a, um, I think it was a liver, no, um, kidney infection, my bad. She had a kid, a really bad kidney infection, which is what was causing her not to eat. Also, she had a uh, parvo, which that's not really kind of what killed her. It didn't help the situation by any means, but the infection is really what did her over because it had been so long and we didn't know, you know, the vet, did her completely healthy so nobody would tell us anything until after she had passed which i think is kind of messed up but 
that's just me. But anyhow, unfortunately, she um, it did her in. But um, she's in a better place. She's no longer in pain, which is the good part. But um, rest in peace to Daisy. Uh, she was a sweet girl while she while we had her. <sighs> Love that damn dog, but it happens. It happens. Nothing we can do about it, but just think of happy times. So, um, getting off of that subject, um, getting off of depressing stuff. Mini Mayhem 2022, hosted by Cars and Cameras. They have already said if you watch their channel as well. If not, definitely go check them out. They are really good guys. Um, they've actually had a lot of upgrades in life. Uh, got a new shop, got a whole lot of new equipment. Hell yeah, that's awesome for them. Mini Mayhem 2022. Busco Beach next month, September. My my mind, I'm, I'm tired. Um, October 21st through the 23rd. Um, I believe I'll put it all down in the comment section below um, to be sure. So check that out definitely. I'll put it in the comment section below if I'm wrong. But if I'm I'm pretty sure it's November. Not November, Dad Gummit. October, October 21st through the 23rd. Second to last weekend, and I'm tired. <laughs> it's been a long day. Um, that's coming up, so we're definitely taking the four-wheeler. We will be out there. I'm planning on it, so um, can't wait for that. But check in with them for further details on location and whatever have you. But um, super excited about that because I was not able to make the last one in 2021 because of work. But um, it's a damn good time. That's all I can say. If you if you can make it, definitely do so. If not, then you know life happens. Oh well. But anyhow, without with without with that being said, guys. Till next time. I'm gonna go to bed. <laughs>